Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens. And today we're gonna to take a look at the new Parker 51. Let's take a look. Before we get started with the new Parker 51, uh, let's talk real quick about where the Parker 51 came from uh, and some of its versions over the years. First off, if you are interested at all in history of the Parker 51, uh, the David and Mark Shepard book, Parker 51, uh, which is no longer in print, is a must have. Excellent book. Uh, it gives you all your colors, all your different uh, versions, and it, it's really a, a solid book. It helps a lot with, uh, with the history and learning about the different, different models and colors. So that being said, let's take a look at some of the, the first pens. So Parker came out with the, the 51 in 1941. The first pen uh, was very similar to this, double jewel model, uh, nice gold nib, and the first models were, of course, a vacuumatic filler. Uh, shortly after the double jewels went away, we came across a single jewel vacuumatic. Fills through there. And we progressed down into the uh, aerometric filler, which everybody's familiar with, where you unscrew the barrel, and then here is your squeeze converter. So they made a couple of different kinds, uh, but this is permanently affixed. So this is not, does not remove, uh, so you can put a cartridge or anything in it. Parker did make some uh, cartridge filling 51s back in the day, but for the most part, uh, most of the ones you're gonna find are either gonna be vacuumatic or probably most likely this aerometric filling version. So let's take a look at what we have here. So here is our box, uh, your standard white uh, water Parker box sleeve, and then we've got the box. So uh, nice, uh, unassuming box. We open it up, and we have uh, the nice Parker logo on there. It's a nice uh, kind of a gray interior. There's not much else going on here. We've got two cartridges in the bottom, a black and a blue. So that's it. There's no paperwork. There's no documentation. So uh, I, you know, some people have seen that uh, the box doesn't come with anything. This is how it comes uh, from Parker. So let's take a look. This here, now there are two different, uh, distinctly different models. So uh, Parker is making the 51 in what's called the Deluxe, which is this version here with the gold cap. And they're making it in two different colors. They're making it in, in plum, which is this very lovely uh, color. It's very dark and it's very historically significant. It's one of the hardest colors of the Parker 51 Aerometric to find in the wild. Uh, it's a very difficult color. It's beautiful, but it's so dark, unless you've actually seen it before on the vintage pens, it's, it's, it's just super hard to tell if you have it or not, or if it's a, a dark burgundy or something like that. But this is an actual plum with a gold filled cap. Now, the big thing that's completely different about the original versions that you've already seen is this is a threaded cap. So this really, it, it goes on securely. It's not a friction fit cap like the originals, but it unscrews. We've got a little trim ring here, which is reminiscent of the original clutch ring, which we have here. A little bit bigger. Obviously, it's a decorative purpose. It serves a decorative purpose here. Um, but there's our threads, uh, the hood, and there's a little bit more of a gap here than the original, but this one, we have a 14 karat nib. Uh, from the top, it looks great. And when we unscrew the barrel, We've got a converter. So the deluxe pens, which come in this plum, and they also come in a black, a nice dark black. Here's a black ballpoint. Uh, come with, the fountain pens come with a converter. So two cartridges and a converter. Uh, really good size. This is a nice heavy cap, so it, it posts well, just like the original. Um, nice balance. These threads here, uh, you think they would get in the way, but they're actually, they're pretty far back. So I, I don't hold my pen too far forward, but 
I'm not even touching them. I'm actually touching this, uh, this trim band here. So really nice. Uh, that's not going to get in the way. Uh, revised, we've got a revised uh, aero logo on the clip there. And then of course you'll notice we've got our jewel here with the spacings made in France. And then of course there's a date code after it. Uh, but really, uh, really a good, good feel in the hand. And if we want to actually compare it to the original color, and, and Parker did a great job of this. You can see they're, they're really pretty close. This is an original plum on my left. So uh, really need to be able to get that color because you just, you just couldn't find it. Uh, now they also make the pen in a steel cap version with the steel nib. So this uh, version is available in four colors. We've got the burgundy. There is a, uh, a standard black like this ballpoint here with the, the, the luster alloy or what they used to call the luster alloy cap, the, the steel cap, uh, a dark blue, and then this lovely teal. Now these were all colors that Parker originally used uh, in making their pens. And they're, they're really pretty, uh, pretty close color wise uh, to some of the original colors. Um, the teal was always one of my favorites. It's a really a great color, but let's take a look at one of these and then we'll look into the ball points. So the teal here, uh, same idea, except we no longer have the lined cap. It's the brushed steel, which Parker called Lusterloy back in the day. Um, still the, the French mark there. And here we've got, of course, a chrome trim ring instead of the gold plated one. Now, chrome, ca uh, chrome cap, steel nib, gold fill cap, gold nib. So, uh, these nibs are available in fine and medium. And on the Chrome version, it comes with two cartridges only, no converter. So a uh, little bit different there. Again, they post well, um, very nice in the hand and very, uh, very similar to really the size of the original how well it posts, it even posts pretty deep. Um, good looking, really a good looking pen. It has a nice weight to it. Now let's take a look at something a little bit different. In 2002, Parker came out with a special edition 51. So you may have heard of that. Uh, here is actually a barrel from that particular pen. They made it, it was a double jewel model. It had what was called the Empire Cap. But the, the issue with that particular pen is, uh, that pen, particular pen had a very thin barrel. So you can see here how thin on the left the original was. And then they were replaced by a thicker barrel. Now, what I like about the new 51, and you can compare it here, you can see how nice and thick this barrel wall is. It's a nice, a solid, it, it's actually much more significant than this 2002 version but a nice, solid, strong barrel. It's not, uh, it's not soft, it's not, uh, it, I, I don't have any feeling at all that this is gonna break if, if it's roughhoused around. It's so nice and thick, uh, a substantial weight to it um, that I think that's really, a, for me, it was the first thing I noticed is how solid that barrel is and how strong it is. So it's not gonna, Parker's not gonna have issues like they did uh, 20 years ago. So uh, that's really nice. Let's take a look at some of the ball points and uh, talk about those because those are really kind of nice. Uh, and they of course match the, uh, the fountain pens and they come in all colors. So there's a deluxe in a black and there's a deluxe in a plum. And then in the steel versions, we've got a black with a, a luster alloy cap, uh, a burgundy, a teal, and of course, there is going to be a matching dark blue uh, ballpoint. So these are a really a, a pretty nice upgrade in the Parker family for a ballpoint. Uh, up until now, you've got in the kind of the low to mid price point, you've got a jotter, you, you've got a couple other things. This is really a solid, classy looking pen, whether you choose the gold cap or the steel cap but they are twist activated, of course, and it's got a nice heavy, because the cap is nice and weighted, 
It's got a nice weight. It just sits right in your hand uh, very comfortably. Um, and if we unscrew this here, of course, it uses a Parker uh, ballpoint refill. But you could also use any of a number of uh, Schmidt gel refills or whatever uh, to suit your fancy if you didn't like the standard Parker refill. But uh, nice in, uh, in the hand, a good size. Um, twist activated, which is nice. It's not going to accidentally, you know, uh, activate if you're, if you hit it, uh, nice weight in the hand and the clip too is, uh, it's got a little bit of a spring to it. Uh, but not, not, not a ton, but it's going to grab everything. Um, <clears throat> obviously if you pull this too much, stretch it too much, it's going to bend here at the top of the cap, but, uh, this is going to fit in every pocket very well. Uh, really great in the hand. Uh, and it looks like a million bucks and it doesn't cost a fortune. All right, let's do a writing sample. I've got the teal uh, inked up here. Now these pens come in fine and medium nibs. The gold nibs have a little spring to them, uh, but by no means are any of these pens flexible. Uh, just the nature of gold uh, gives it that little bit of a, a spring to it. But uh, Parker 51 was never supposed to be a flexible nib pen. It was always, it was a space age pen. It was designed to write uh, quickly and the nibs are firm and that's just kind of how it always has been. Uh, I've got the teal here. I've got it inked up with the included blue cartridge. I've got my Rhodia pad here and let's, uh, let's take this for a spin here. And this is a fine nib. And it is, is actually pretty, pretty nice. It's uh, uh, a nice, firm, uh, fine nib. And the medium, obviously, would be a little bit bigger. So if you need something that you can uh, write very fast with, uh, these nibs are going to be definitely something uh, uh, that will do that for you. Like I say, it's, it's firm. There's no movement whatsoever. You can see the downstrokes and side strokes the same, same length. Um, but I can write really quick and it doesn't miss a beat. So there you have it, the new Parker 51. Check us out online at andersonpens.com or our stores in Appleton in Chicago. Thanks for watching.